second for some business sessions. I'm going to wrap up today and talking a little bit about Google for nonprofits. Is anyone already signed up for the program? Okay, so mostly fresh faces. That's fantastic. And thank you for signing up. So just to talk a little bit about uh, what I'm going to talk about today. Apologies for the formatting. We quickly moved to, to Windows for the Mac. So um, I'm going to talk today about free tools that Google supplies for everyone. It doesn't matter who you are. They're just free. And if you're not using them, give them a try. And then I'm going to talk about another forms, Google Analytics, and Google Maps. You're familiar with some of these, but maybe some of them not in a way that you might use for your nonprofit organization. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about Google for Nonprofits, which is really how you can get extra things that other people can't get because of your nonprofit status. Sound good? Sound like a plan? I'm going to cover a ton of information in a very short period of time. So I'll be here after for questions, and there's more places for you to get information. But for the next 20 minutes, just strap in and we'll go. I'm going to speak quickly. I'm Canadian. They say we do that. Okay, so, so stop me if it's really too much, but um, I will be here after, as will Yal, who's my YouTube counterpart, and we can answer some more questions if you like. Okay, so first, free tools from Google. This is just what Google throws out into the universe for anyone to use at any time, no matter who you are. And one of them is forms. Anyone using forms? Yes, okay, good. So this is an essential tool. Put it in your tool belt, start using it. It's a great way to collect data. It is the simplest tool I've ever used from the Google suite of products. It's simpler than Gmail. Go for it. You can do it. You can create a form. It walks you through all of the details you might want to put in, radio buttons, selections. And why might you use a form? What do you need a form for? Yeah, you're collecting data. So you might want to survey your customer base. You might wonder, maybe you ran an event and you want to know how it went. All sorts of reasons to collect data. Maybe you want to do an RSVP through a form so you know who's coming, right? All kinds of reasons. It's a simple format. You put your data in. It tells you how to format it. It will create a theme for you beautifully. You don't need to know how to do any HTML. It just does it for you automatically. And then it dumps all of that data into a Google Sheet, which you can open in Excel, do whatever you want with if you're good at that sort of thing. I am not good at that sort of thing. So we also have automatic metrics that just Google just creates these for you so you can see what your data and your responses look like. Okay, so put that one in your tool belt and move on. This is Maps. Everyone's familiar with Maps, right? Who goes anywhere and get any, any at all without pulling out their phone and looking on how to get there? Everyone uses it. But instead of just telling people how to get to where you are or meeting friends, you can use Maps for a host of other things. This is an organization called Pogo in the US, and what they're doing is they create safe ways for children to get home online. Okay, so they've got safest routes for children to walk home or to go home with a guardian and they post it online so people can access it. But there's so many things you can do with maps. You can create a My Maps view that will close to your, your collecting donations for clothing. And you can plot all of your donation spots all over the country, all over the world. People can come and bring you donations and post it on your website and keep it up to date. Okay? So all kinds of organizations are using maps in all kinds of ways. Come and ask us about it. If you've got anything that has any geolocation referencing, it's crazy simple. You can and then also, if you're using maps, or if you're not using maps, make sure your business, especially if it's people coming to you for services, or just finding you generally, is up to date on Google. Make sure your street for you isn't of the laundromat across the street, or from a business that was there before you. These things happen. Data, there's a huge amount of data in maps, and you can easily report a problem, change your address, make sure you're up on my business so people know how to find you. It's very, very easy to do. This is the report a problem page. You just click a report a problem. You can change the address, submit the request, Google will review it in a very short amount of time, and update it. It's pretty amazing. There's people behind all that technology. OK, the third free thing for everyone in the universe to use is Google Analytics. How many of you have a website? Good start. How many of you are using analytics? Oh, we've got a convert here. So if you're not using analytics, go ahead and do it. The first hurdle is getting, of course, your code into, good, into your website. That, if you're using a website provider, it's easy. It just takes a step of each um, But you should be using this if you're not. It's an amazing tool. It's going to tell you four incredibly important things. Your audience, so who's coming to your site, where their demographics. It's going to tell you and where they're located. It's going to tell you how they're getting to you, so what sites they're coming from. It's going to tell you then what they do on your site, right? What they look at, how long they're on each page. 
And then it's going to tell you conversions. Now, conversions in a commercial sense are how many people buy products, but in probably your sense, it's how many people donate, or how many people click through to the information you want them to click through, or act in some way that you want them to act. <coughs> so, and one final thing I want to talk about is, is site. If you don't have a website, or if you are paying for someone else to create a site, and maybe you just need an internal site to talk to someone about, or post information, or you want an external site, Google has a, a tool called Site. Quite simply, it does what it says on the tin. It's one of the best kept secrets, and it's like just a little quick and dirty, get your website up and running, get a piece of information out into the world. It's like using a word processor. It's not complicated at all, okay? So it works really simply, and you can probably get something up and out within an hour. Okay, so something else to think about if you're looking to do something like that. Okay, those are the free free things.